on Beer Porch Gang to the Bime. And uh, Merry Christmas. It's actually the 25th of December, so it's Christmas Day. Everybody else uh, in Europe has, of course, finished celebrating Christmas last night with the old ones out as Brits and uh, people in the English speaking world who and obviously the former colonies who still celebrate Christmas on the 25th but here we are it's the morning of Christmas day looking outside I can see oh there's a few grey clouds but it's mostly blue skies and I believe this is going to be quite fine today now situation with us at the moment uh, my wife's back in Hong Kong at the moment taking care of her sick mother so the boys are here fending alone that's fending for ourselves alone that's me and my two sons my two sons are both vegan that's basically making me a de facto vegan because I'm too lazy to cook two meals each night. My wife actually cooks three meals. She cooks a meal for herself, Chinese style, a meal for me, and uh, vegetarian for the boys. But I'm not going to do that. So um, I'm going to show you a simple meal that I'm preparing today for Christmas dinner. We're actually going around to a friend's for Christmas dinner. Um, he's going to be cooking um, a vegetarian dish, and I've said that I will do um, a cauliflower cheese bake type thing. He's good. He's good. He's good. And why I wanted to make a video about this is because I've made a couple of videos about um, frugal living or how you can live frugally in Portugal. So there's a lot of talk about how the cost of living has really gone through the roof in Portugal. And I still contend um, that you can live here really on next to no money. I'm not going to pretend that we are a poor family. We're not a poor family. Um, so I don't want to be patronizing to people who don't have a lot of money. But I would say to people who are thinking about coming to Portugal, if you're reading these Facebook posts where they're saying, you know, you know, you need 2,000 or 3,000 or more euros per month to live. We well, simply don't. Um, me and the boys, most of our meals um, we buy from Lidl or Aldi. And um, I would say most of our meals come in at about six or seven euros maximum for the three of us, Some, sometimes even five euros or less. Um, so that could tell you what our grocery budget is like. Okay? And if you um, cut out things like eating out um, and go to cafes, you can really, really reduce that that side of your spending quite a lot and of course if you own your home so if you do like we did and came to central portugal where housing prices are a lot more reasonable and then you can go ahead and just buy your house outright you don't have rent or a mortgage um you can really spend quite a quite a small amount of money each month but anyway let's get into it i'm going to show you how to make uh, this meal um this meal is going to feed uh five people um obviously they are cooking something as well so you know maybe th maybe this would be enough on its own for say three or four people and this cost the total cost of the ingredients is about about six six and a half euros okay so let's get into it so uh first of all actually this is the uh this is the sort of extravagance these peppers they're completely not necessary but i wanted to add a bit of color just because it's uh christmas so these uh peppers by themselves probably actually cost about two euros but i'm only going to use one of them so and that's the red one i just want the red one just to add a bit of color um i'm in a bit of flavor as well i like a pepper but really more for the color so even though this probably cost i think it was 2.99 for the three i'm only using one of them i'm going to put a couple of mushrooms in as well so i might put big three of these big big sort of button mushrooms um again this came in a pack that was about 150 and i think it had about 10 10 of those in i'm also going to put in a, a number one chili just one of those just to give it a bit of just to give it a bit of a uh, bit of a kick bit of a christmas kick that was a pretty big onion that's about a third of an onion there I'm going to put that in there as well just chop that up all important part one head of broccoli and one head of cauliflower i've got a uh, 400 ml of cooking cream these were about 60 cents each, something like that. And then I got a block of uh, cheddar cheese. These are from Aldi, British cheddar, <laughs> British cheddar it says. They were two euros each. I'm gonna put about one and a half of those in. Yep. So um, yeah, I think all in, you know, even if I wanted to sort of be more conservative, you know, it's definitely less than eight euros, right? Definitely less than eight euros. And as I say, some of the things you won't use all of, or like the mushrooms, that's three left over from a, a 10 pack. The pepper was one euro, you know, there we go. Right, so what I like to do is um, I like to give them a good 
a good wash. Make sure there's no caterpillars in there. True story. When I was a um, when I was a kid, I bit into some cauliflower, and when I took the cauliflower out of my mouth, it was half a caterpillar. So I, I ate probably, obviously can't be 100 percent sure, but it seems like I ate half a caterpillar. And for years, I couldn't eat broccoli, which is a shame because I really like the taste, and it's really, really good for you. Anyway, what I like to do, what I cut, what I cut off will go into the garden, so it won't be wasted. But um, what I like to do is cut the stalk off because um, when I do this dish, some at least part of it is about the presentation. So I don't like to cut sideways through the florets. I like them to look, I think it's nicer that way. And then even when I put them in there, when I bake them, I like to bake them so the tops bake off. So this will go back into the garden. Those boys will start moving soon. It's Christmas day, they've got presents under the tree. They'll probably want to be opening their presents soon. Let's see how much of this I can get done before that starts happening. Okay, so there's the broccoli. Now my steamer is actually uh, my rice cooker. <laughs> So all I do is I put about a litre of water in the rice cooker, put the steaming tray on the top and then I, uh, I'll do the broccoli first because that's what I cut first. Let's get that broccoli in there. One of these days I will buy a bigger steamer, but uh, anyway, in you go, Mr. Broccoli, and put that on and we'll let that uh, steam for about 10 minutes. So we don't cook it, we uh, steam it until it's uh, just a little bit soft. When you feel it's probably about five minutes away from being cooked, that's about that's about where you want to be. Right, so let's break up this uh, this cauliflower. Again, as I say, I don't really like this one's a bit big. I don't really like to uh, I don't really like to cut the flory floriates flowers. What do you call them? Florets in half because I like to keep the shape. But you know, it's not the end of the world if you have to do it on a few. Some of them are just too big, aren't they? Right, there we go. Right, listen to me. Am I the only one who likes raw cauliflower? I love raw cauliflower. I'm not sure if that's strange or not. Let me know in the comments if you also like raw raw cauliflower. I like raw broccoli as well. <laughs> Generally speaking, I prefer raw raw vegetables. Not all not all of them, of course, but things like carrots. And I'm definitely not a fan of boiled vegetables, especially if they've been um, over boiled. Again, I think it's something I associate with my childhood, being forced to eat very very well boiled. <laughs> So uh, let's uh, get this pepper prepared. You call it a pepper or a capsicum. I grew up in Australia and we call it a, uh, a capsicum there, but um, in England we call them peppers. What about you? I'm not sure what the Americans call them. Do you say capsicum? I've got no real preference on flavour when it comes to green or yellow. I mean, I probably, probably would lean towards yellow ones for flavour, but um, generally speaking, for me, it's about the colour. Yeah, it's all about the colour. It's going to go in and add a bit of colour. Uh, mushroom for a bit of protein. Something that uh, vegetarian, if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, you do have to kind of think about. It's quite easy to overlook uh, protein in a vegan diet. What about you? For those of you who, who are vegans, how do you uh, how do you get your protein? What do you do about that? Is it something you even think about? Is it something I'm overthinking? I think um, overall, ve veganism, vegetarianism is or can be a much healthier way to eat but I do think you have to be careful because obviously there are some things that we um, do get from meat that we need to survive so uh, let's just get this onion chopped up so again no real no real system here just chopping it up so that no one ends up with huge massive mouthfuls of onion so I don't fry that off or anything I've set that bake in the oven when I'm baking the uh and the broccoli. Right, and that can also go in the garden. A lot of people say you shouldn't put chili scraps in the in the garden, but I've never never had a problem with it. It's only a little bit, so broccoli start to steam away nicely. All right, uh, next the thing, next the thing, next part of the puzzle is the cheddar cheese, the cheddar cheese. So what am I going to do with the cheddar cheese? So this is a 250 gram block. I'm going to use about a block and a half for this uh, recipe. So what I like to do normally is cut the block into thirds, makes it a bit more manageable. And I'm going to use another bowl. I really must get another cheese grater. This one just isn't uh, isn't good enough. Not up to the job, but it'll do for now. Uh, if you can see, foot foot, uh, our black dog is the food machine. Bessie Bessie's uh, much more petite and um, more fussy when it comes to food. Foot foot will just about eat anything, but his favourite is cheese. So uh, as soon as uh, anyone opens some cheese, he is here. Foot foot, you're going to have to be patient, my friend. Ooh, good boy. Merry Christmas. I'm be so excited. Cheese, Daddy. 
You know it's my favourite. You can't just make things out of cheese and not give me any. <laughs> Problem is, if I give them a little bit, they just won't go away then. So I have, well, I have, I have to, I want to give him the cheese. That's how I am, but he's my boy. But the thing is, if I give him some cheese now, he won't have any comprehension that he can't just have more and more. So he'll just stand here expecting more. So I have to be kind of disciplined for him. It's not like he doesn't get fed. I wonder if maybe one block will do. Let's see, I don't normally cook quite this much, but because it's for five people and it's Christmas, I'm kind of doing a bit more than I normally would. So normally I would just use uh, one block, uh, a little under one block actually. So maybe, also this is 250 grams. I think the blocks I normally use are 200 grams. There's no real uh, set rules to this recipe, guys. So, you know, some people when they make cauliflower cheese, the whole top is covered in cheese. But for me, I like to be able to see the top of the, uh, the flowers of the uh, broccoli and the cauliflower. But when I layer it up later, you will see how I do that. All right, so that broccoli is uh, nicely steamed now. How I would describe it is um, if I steamed it for about another five minutes, it'll be ready. So it's uh, it's soft, but it's still crunchy. That's that's where it's at. It's still it's still crunchy. All right, so that's the uh, the broccoli steam. Let's see how we go for water in there. That's still plenty of water. So I'm kind of having to do this in shifts because my steam is not very big. So I don't think I'll get this whole broccoli in there. Give it a good old try though. It makes life a lot easier if I can get it all done. You don't have to steam it by the way. You can you can boil it. It's just um just it's just one of those things. I'm just uh not about those boiled vegetables. But you can boil it if you want. <laughs> right, so I've got all the cauliflower. Well, not really, but it's okay. <laughs> so, right, so we'll let that steam for take about 10 minutes. So I've got all the ingredients more or less ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the I'm just gonna use this desktop oven. We do have a gas oven down there. To be honest, we never use it because we've been using this desktop oven for so long. We use the gas burners on the top, but I don't think we've ever actually lit the oven downstairs. So it's just a just a habit really. So I'm gonna preheat this to uh, 200 on the top and the bottom. And I've got a tray in there that's uh, ready for this. Um, so the tray and the oven will be preheated to 200. It'll take about five or 10 minutes to get there. And by that time, the cauliflower should also be steamed. So we'll be ready to rock and roll. Have I got everything? I've got everything. I have got everything. Okay, see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so that's the uh, the broccoli and the cauliflower, lightly steamed. So total, that took me about 15 minutes to do. As I say, I had to kind of do it in two goes, but normal people who've got a bigger steamer could probably do that a lot faster. So let's get out. This is this uh, tray that I have preheated to uh, 200, 220. 220, 200, 220 is okay. Right, now what I normally do to start with, I get the cream. Do -do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Okay, and what I like to do, guys, is I like to put a load of this cooking cream just to cover the base, not not completely, that should be enough. And then I put um, a couple of tablespoons of cheese at the bottom, like that, something like that. And the first time I did this, I thought, God, this is going to really stick, but it, it just doesn't doesn't stick at all um so i like that then and now you'll see why i like to uh keep the uh the flor flowers or the florets whatever you call them in shape because i think it looks nice it looks nice in my opinion there's something about it looking nice that uh makes it taste better probably doesn't really make it taste any better or any different but i like it to look nice so yeah just uh mix it up like that do 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 it's gonna be awesome. All right, now, rest of the cream. Just like that. Now, get our vegetables, get a nice, nice little, little even spread. Not chasing perfection here, guys. And now for that little bit of color I was talking about. Definitely uh, try to spread the chilies out a bit, especially if they're hot ones like this. Okay. What do you think? Red, white, green, Christmas, Christmassy? It's Christmassy. Christmassy. I might have just made a word up there, but, um, right. And the cheese, obviously the all important cheese. So what I like to do is sprinkle about half of it, sprinkle about half of it like that. And then, um, then about half of this other cream should just about do it, I think. You know what, it's Christmas. I think I'm gonna put the whole lot in. New Year's Eve is for talking about resolutions like dieting, I think. All right, there we go. So let's get the oven open. 
and I put this in the uh, in the middle and we're just going to leave it in there until it's golden brown. I like to see a little bit of brown crispiness on the uh, white cauliflower and then I kind of know it's done. So we'll leave that in there. That'll probably take about 15 or 20 minutes or so. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, Portugal gang. So to you, it's been seconds, but to me, it's been 25 minutes and I think my bake is ready. It's the magic of uh, magic of video. Well, maybe we're near a wormhole. Maybe there's a gravitational disturbance and time is going more quickly for me than it is for you. Who knows? Let's check it out. Wow, it's looking good, gang. It's looking good. If I may say so myself, I think this is going to be yummy. There we go. Look at that. You see? Jack of all trades, master of none. That's what they call me. Look at that. A beautiful cauliflower and broccoli bake. A little bit of color in it to make it kind of look a bit Christmassy. And um, I think I've done a grand job. I think I've done a grand job. So there you go. Merry Christmas, everybody. Now this is a little bit of a departure <laughs> from my usual videos. And I keep getting in trouble for going off niche. It's very funny. When I go out of my niche, I usually, um, I usually get, you know, only 150 or 200 views where my niche videos normally get about a thousand or so. And then I'll get you, YouTube will actually tell me off. It's like, can I, these, these videos are appealing to a smaller audience or something like that. But I don't care. I think this is uh, worthwhile. And I do think that it ties in because I have been talking about frugal living in Portugal. And as I say, this is going to feed, uh, five people and at most it was six and a half euros. Okay. So anyone who says that you can't live on a budget in in um, Portugal, they're, they're just not trying. They're just not trying. So anyway, if you like this kind of video and yeah, you want me to show you some more real kind of practical tips for being frugal, please let me know in the comments. Or if you've got any um, ideas for how people can live on a shoestring here, and I wouldn't even call this living on a shoestring. I mean, I could, I could live on less money than this. To me, this is a very, very nice kind of, you know, yummy uh, kind of luxurious. It's got lots of different things. It's got two kinds of cheese. It's got cream in it, fresh vegetables, you know? So um, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm suffering or missing out here in any way. Um, but yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you've got any, any kind of ideas that you like uh, for living on a budget, whether it be cooking or anything else. And um, if you do like this type of content, well, you got to save yourself foot foot. If you do like this type of content and you're new around here, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps me. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao and Merry Christmas. Oi, out of there. Ciao.